waka waka what's up guys and welcome back to the channel for yet another fc finch video and today a little bit more of a solemn topic uh, no review but we are going to talk about what happened to my toy world uh constructor or my toy world third party devastator and uh i want to kind of preface this a little bit so if everybody has seen my collection overview and whatnot and actually if you've seen one of my recent reviews uh you know that i do have a uh c07x which i believe is the toy world perfect edition constructor and that's their take on devastator if you don't know um and you can correct me if the, in the comments if i am wrong uh, or let me know uh, but either way um since i did the review on their scavenger i believe their shovel uh right back there uh, i have had some issues with the sets so i kind of wanted to make a video uh highlighting some of the issues that i've had uh, now i've gone through about half the set at this point so i have not probably found all the issues i'm only going to go over the ones that i do currently know about and maybe at some point i'll make a follow-up video with either other issues i found or what i intend to do or any fixes that i have made but i do kind of want to go over a few of them and the biggest reason i want to go over these issues is because uh as you guys know uh despite as old or as older as this set is um we do have the devastator wars firing up again especially in the masterpiece we got three third-party devastators uh in the masterpiece scale all coming in the next year or two here so uh i do still firmly believe that the toy world is a solid uh contender in the masterpiece wars i know a bunch of people that have it they love theirs i still love mine despite uh the issues i'm having uh so of course and uh, i'll go over what i plan to do uh later with regards to this and what i plan to do in the devastator wars uh but you know i just kind of wanted to go over issues that i've had with the set because again uh if you are considering this set as an option um you know i feel like everybody should know about other issues collectors have come across and i have certainly watched videos on this set and found issues that collectors have come across so i just kind of feel you know we all share the wealth of knowledge as collectors and we are going to go with it i'm going to start off with the first issue i found and then i'm going to go into each subsequent issue with each individual figure uh so we're going to get right into it i'm going to move these guys off the table and we are going to start at the source of the problem so uh, issue numero uno and the biggest reason why this guy isn't standing is uh his legs kind of disassembled himself. Rather, his pelvis kind of disassembled himself. And I kind of want to put some history um, into this. So uh, for, I bought my uh, constructor set used back in, I think, January of 2021. So it did have a previous owner. It came to me uh, completely undamaged. Uh, I'm the uh, second or I don't know, whatever, whatever owner I am. Uh, but either way, so I've had the set. I transformed all the figures. I went through all the transformations of all of them once from uh, robot to vehicle. And then I put them into Combined mode. This was long before I had the channel, the channel, so I just uh, put them into the various modes uh, just for my own fun and enjoyment. Uh, and I'll show a picture uh, right now of the pose that I've had this in. Um, and you know, it's kind of standing with one leg elevated. Um, but when I was doing the review for their shovel. Um, uh, this guy right here, which has had no issues, by the way, uh, I did have the Devastator laying down. And then when I went to uh, put Shovel back on, um, I noticed that this whole assembly just kind of started feeling wobbly. And it couldn't even stand anymore. Um, and I'm not sure how well you can see. You probably can't see it at all. But you can see like a little piece of ratchet in there. The leg just came all apart. In fact, uh, here's a spring. The uh, uh, the one uh, thigh piece did come out eventually. Um, it appears to be fine for now. Um now again this is the key reason that i don't have the constructor of everything else that i ever all the other issues i want to highlight but i can't talk um uh th this is the reason that constructor is not up so once i fix this i'll probably be able to put this guy back up into combined mode um i just haven't had a chance to get around to it it's been something i've been in talk with jj about but again you got to go in and just undo these screws right here i think these two screws up here maybe possibly sorta and uh then i could disassemble this guy and it doesn't look like anything things cracked at least as far as i can see so if it's not um i'm gonna try to put this thing back together if it is um you know maybe try and think of a solution to kind of build it back a little better than before uh but you can see that the, the, the legs just kind of hanging on there i mean the whole pelvis area is the problem the, the thighs feel fine um in fact i can show you on this leg uh it still does well it's very tight so um 
the ratchet here does work. It's a very tight ratchet. And of course, this ratchet does work as well. I'm sure it's the same on this leg, but I'm not gonna go all through, all through it. And uh, oh, wow, yeah, more pieces fell out. What do you know? So uh, yeah, so it just has the, these pieces right here, but we can spin now, now we can inspect them. And uh, doesn't look like anything is really sheared or anything like that. I don't see any shearing. So I'm kind of hoping uh, that I can just kind of get the these uh, pieces right here and uh, get them all back in line and uh, hopefully put this thing back together and get it back in a display on the shelf. But that is kind of the numero uno of why Devastator is. Uh, we'll move into the second issue, and that's going to be with uh, Mr. I believe his name is Unearth here, or their take on Scavenger. And uh, you can see, uh, we'll bring it right in, uh, so you can see uh, he's just got, he's sheared right along here and i'm going to kind of untransform him just a bit so you kind of see what's happening but uh so you notice that he's got this kind of square square peg in here it's gonna be kind of hard <laughs> got the light and everything he's he got he's got that square peg in there and uh I, i'm assuming that, that square peg has to stay uh pretty much uh flush with the edges right here that should not be moving and uh, you can just see that when i'm moving it just goes it, it like wants to turn i'm not sure that that is supposed to turn i think it's just this Air, this green piece around that's supposed to spin around it but it is turning and you can see it has just pulled the plastic apart like you literally have a screw just pulled right off there um and that apparently is what has happened here. Same thing with the other side. Uh, it just completely pulled apart the plastic. In fact, you can see that uh, this little arm piece, the little pegs are starting to come loose. Now, again, you can uh, bring it down. And uh, once you set it level, you can kind of push it back together. And uh, it'll stay as uh, close to uh, good as it can. Uh, but, of course, uh, that I'll probably have to use some kind of glue. But that's still not going to fix the issue of what's happening inside there. Um, so not too sure about that. Again, um, uh, you know, it, worst case, if I get the legs working, this guy will probably spend the rest of his life in arm mode, so it's not going to matter. I can just put the arm on him, and uh, I don't think that affects anything with uh, down here, assuming he has no other issues, but you never know. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. But again, that's kind of my issue that I've had with Scavenger uh, on here. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll move on to the final issue, and that, of course, is going to be uh, with their... Uh, long haul their aka their uh, burden aka their long haul and uh, this guy you know after again after uh when i started doing the reviews i kind of started just kind of playing with this set again since i couldn't have him as devastator and well i started transforming uh burden going through the transformations again just you know for good practice and we're just going to untransform him just a little bit um uh but again we'll put the legs about and uh you can see uh <sighs> Let me flip these pieces up. We'll kind of go over what has happened. And uh, oh, 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 you can see uh, that uh, his his thighs are basically just sheared. Um, it, it, again, and it's on both sides. The the other side does it too. Now, again, this is not too big uh, of an issue. They do just kind of sandwich right back. The, oh, oh, get it around the mushroom peg. <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll get it off. We'll get it off camera if we have to. Oh, but they have kind of just it, it all. It all fits around the mushroom peg, so it's not too big. Uh, it's not too bothersome uh, of an issue. Uh, but nevertheless, and there we go. There we go. We got it around the mushroom peg, and now we can put it back in. But you can see that it just kind of sheared. Even the screws have sheared. And again, it's on both sides, so uh, none of the screws are really holding this thing together. And uh, the interesting part about this is this is not really an area that sees all that much for since he's got some st uh, st stress or stress marks right there but this is not really an area that sees all that much for so you are moving the legs about here but uh it's moving on the lower ratchet so i'm not sure why this would ever uh see that much force additionally it doesn't see much force on the combiner because the combiner connects uh right here uh, but nevertheless these have sheared now uh this fix is again probably going to be just a matter of gluing them back together uh he's still he, as long as you keep these pushed in he still transforms just fine he still functions just just sign ro robot mode he'll still pose like this uh, so this is probably the least worrisome of w the issues on this set but it is one of the issues that i have increased so just simply because like it's it, this is one of the parts that i would have least expected to come uh to pieces on this but nevertheless it has happened um 
uh, for that. Now, uh, again, um, I'll probably just put some glue on it and call it a day. Um, but that is about it for all the issues that I've found so far. So far, nothing with shovel, and I haven't played uh, with their uh, hook or their uh, well, allocator or their mix master uh, just yet, or their bone crusher to see if those have had any issues. But we may get around to that, to that. I may make a follow up video. Um, so we'll close out real quick here. So let's do a quick summary of all the issues that I've kind of had. You know, the biggest issue was with the legs coming apart of the pelvis. And of course, you have issues on uh, their scavenger right here with the cracking. And you, of course, got the thigh issue on the uh, long haul or their, their burden so far. Uh, and, so, uh, and again, none, no issues on the other set. Uh, but these are just kind of the issues that I've encountered so far. Uh, now, as far as what I plan to do, uh, like I said previously, as long as I can fix the legs, I'm probably just going to glue what I can on burden and unearth and then i'll probably put the combiner back on my shelf now um i do plan to keep this i mean obviously i'm not going to sell it in this state i'll probably plan to keep this and keep it as my pet project um until i figure out something better to do with it i will state that i do have the fan toys on pre-order i do intend to get the ocular max uh when it comes out so i'll probably switch to the fan to fans toys for combined mode and use the ocular max for the individual robot modes and that's kind of my plan at current so i'm not quite sure what the future of this thing is I know that I do plan to keep it. I'm just not sure uh, what I'm going to do with it and or how long it's going to take me. I can't, I've really had not much motivation uh, to kind of get this thing back up and running right now as there's just so many other figures on the way that I am looking forward to. Um, but either way, you know, again, just kind of want to make this video. If this is a set you are considering, um, you know, just to kind of be wary of. Now, I do want to go in and state that uh, I have heard, and again, this is not firsthand experience, but I have heard that there, there is a... Uh, I'm not, I, I forget what the name of the set is, uh, but there is a version of this set that apparently does not have as many issues as other ones. You can let me know in the comments what that set is and then kind of laugh at me and say, ha ha, you didn't get the right set and all that good stuff. But either way, either way, uh, if anything, for anybody else who might be looking into this, I, I was, have heard there is a version of this version of this set that does not have as many issues as the other ones. So you can check that out and maybe try and get your hands on one, um, uh, or maybe, uh, Toy World might re-release this set with not as many issues, but either way, these are some of the issues that I had. Uh, you can kind of scour YouTube and see if anybody else has had similar issues with this set, or if you've had these issues, let me know in the comments what you did to kind of fix them, or let me know what you how you tackled any issues that you're, you had with your constructor, or did you just give up right away and just say, yep, not interested in this set, and I don't want to have it anymore. Uh, that is going to conclude this video, so thank you for kind of sticking around and listening to me talk uh, about the issues of this set. Uh, we do have more reviews coming, so if you are interested, like and subscribe to this channel. I do greatly appreciate it, and uh, stick around for more great content. Thank you so much for watching. I have been FC Finch. Good night!